11.7 standard deviation, uh, kind of a tough lesson to do by hand. I'm gonna try to show you a shortcut, but let's think about what standard deviation means first. In order to understand standard deviation, you first have to understand mean. So let's start by finding the mean or the average of these four numbers. Five, 15, zero, and 20. So you should know how to find the mean or find the average. You can do five, well, add them up, right? Add the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. So since there are four, we're gonna divide by four and get 10. That's, that's the average, the mean is 10. So let's write 10, circle it. Now, I don't know if this is a shortcut or not, but Gold Adder has a feature that you can type in the word mean and then type in a list, 5, 15, 0, 20. So there's a built-in feature right there that you can only access through your keyboard but you can find the average of those four numbers quickly. So let's do another one. Find the mean of 9, 10, 10, and 11. It's also 10. Nine plus 10 plus 10 plus 11 divided by four, that's 40 divided by four, that's, that's 10, that's an average of 10. So both of those sets of numbers have an average of 10. Okay, let's do another one. Ten, 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 and ten. Stay with me. Oops. Okay, obviously the average of 10, 10, 10, and 10 is 10. Um, there you go. So add them up, you get 40. Divide by four, you get 10. Okay, maybe you're seeing a pattern here. Let's do another one. 9.99, guys be quiet please. Nine point nine nine, ten point zero one, and ten point zero one. So we're going to find the average of those four numbers. To find the average, you add them up and divide by the number of numbers. So add those numbers up nine point nine nine. 9.99, 10.01, You find this average is also 10. Okay, so here's the question. I gave you four different problems and, and we found the average and all four of those problems had an average of 10 what if you had to try to describe the difference of those numbers? Because those numbers are not all the same. If you look at the numbers from problem one and the numbers from problem three, those numbers are not all the same, and yet they came up with the same average, the same mean, okay? So 
if the means are all the same, how would you differentiate between these sets of numbers? Is there something that makes one set of numbers different than another? All the numbers are the same. All the means are the same. All the numbers are not the same. They all add up to 40, but I want to know what's different about them. Number four has decimals. That's true. Okay. I don't want to know what they all have. I want to know what they're all, what, what makes them different. Okay. How could it be possible that the, the numbers in number one have an average of 10, but also the numbers in number three? I guess what I'm get, uh, getting at is how close are those numbers to the mean? Are those numbers really, really close? Are those numbers not really, really close? Are some of the numbers closer to the mean? Are some of the numbers farther to the mean? Look at number one. Those numbers are kind of all over the place. None of those numbers are very close to the mean, especially when you look at the numbers in problems three and four. So the standard deviation what standard deviation is, is kind of a, a, a measurement or, or a way that we can talk about how close are those numbers to the mean? How close are those numbers to the mean? And so let's talk about standard deviation. All right. And I'm going to show you the old way. I'm going to show you how to do it by hand first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on a calculator. Okay. So let's look at problem number one. And we're going to find the standard deviation for that. So. Find standard deviation. So this is problem number five, and we'll do five, fifteen, zero, and twenty. All right. So get this down. I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. This is the formula. Okay. This is the process for finding standard deviation. And just know right now, you're probably not going to like it. Okay, but I want you to write it down. I want you to copy down everything that, that we do here. So the first thing you'd have to do in finding the standard deviation is to calculate the mean. So we've already done that, but I'm going to do it again. All right. Part A, I guess, is find the mean. And so you're going mean equals 5 plus 15 plus 0 plus 20 divided by four, add them all up, divide by the number of numbers. So the mean equals, right, 10. All right, we already knew that, but, but the mean equals 10, okay? Part B, we wanna find what's called the variance, okay? Find the variance. And if you think about words like deviation and words like variance, it's talking about how, how different the numbers are. But the variance is gonna be calculated like this. Okay, you ready? What you have to do is you have to take each of the numbers in the set, so start with five, oops, five, and subtract the mean, which is 10, and square it. Okay, so five, the number five that, that's in our list, minus 10, that was our mean, and square it, and we're going to add the next one. So the next number in our list is 15, so we've got 15 minus the mean and square it, plus zero minus 10 squared, plus 20 minus 10 squared. All right, so what we're talking about here when we're subtracting is we're trying to find how different the, the number is, how far away each number is from the mean. So the first one is five away, the second one is also five away, the third one is 10 away, and the fourth one is also 10 away. We're trying to find the, the, how far away it is from the mean. But we have to take that 
all that stuff and we have to divide by the number of numbers minus one, okay? So since there are four numbers, we're gonna subtract one, all right? So, okay, this formula is kind of complicated, right? All right, so check it out. I'm gonna do some of the, I, I would probably do this step in my head, but five minus 10 is negative five. And when I square that, it's gonna be 25. 15 minus 10 is five. And when I square that, it's also gonna be 25. Zero minus 10 is negative 10. Square it, that's 100. And 20 minus 10 is 10 and squared is 100. Three minus, or four minus one is three, so we're gonna divide by three. So do that in your head, that's 250 divided by three. So 250 divided by three, whoops, 250 divided by three, like you said, 83.3 repeating. Okay, now step C, last step. We're finding the standard deviation, okay? So standard deviation equals square root of the variance. So part B was the hard step, finding the variance. Step C isn't that bad because all we have to do is take the square root of 83.3 repeating. So square root of 83.3 repeating. So I'm gonna go second square root of second answer. Let's just call that 9.13, 9.13, 9.13, okay, is about, 9.13. So that is my standard deviation. That is my standard deviation for that first problem. So let's let's just say standard deviation equals 9.13. Now, one thing that's always thrown me for a loop when, when calculating standard deviation, there are two different types of standard deviation and this is standard deviation. This is the one I would rather do, but there's also something called population standard deviation. And the only difference when you do population is you don't subtract this one here. Everything else is the same, okay? So population standard deviation, you'd divide by four instead of three, all right? But we're gonna do just regular standard deviation and, and that's what we're doing, okay? So 9.13, 9.13. Now. Check this out. All right, since you're on this app, you could just type in variance, V-A-R, and that function is gonna give you your 83.3 repeating. But yeah, you could just do the square root of that, but I've also got a standard deviation. So standard deviation is the function STD Okay, yeah, I know. So find the STD. Good luck. Okay, so you want to find the standard deviation of that list of numbers, and there it is right there. Okay, that's the regular standard deviation, not the population standard deviation. So population would have to do something else. All right. So <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, there's no P, STD. Um, all right, <laughs> so so let's find the, the standard deviation of number two. So STD, nine comma 10 comma 10 comma 11. So 0.82, let's say. So standard deviation, What was it? 0.82. All right. What do you think the standard deviation is of the problem number three? Uh, 
Standard deviation of 10, 10, 10, 10. It's zero, okay? I think that's a, if you understand why that's going to be zero, then you have kind of an idea of what standard deviation is, all right? Why was, you know, why is that zero, but number nine, uh, number one is 9.13 and number two is 0.82, okay? How about number four? Number four, we're doing standard deviation of 9.99 comma 9.99 comma 10.01 comma 10.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 yes standard deviation is 0 0.01 so think about what standard deviation is i think it's a really hard mathematical concept but the word deviation literally means how much do the numbers differ from the mean okay so as you look at those numbers, 9.13 and 0.82 and 0 and 0 0.01, the closer the number is to zero, the closer those numbers are to the mean. So notice your standard deviation of 0 0.01. That 0 0.01 right there is supposed to be telling you that these numbers are really, really, really close to the mean. And then that number up at the top, that 9.13, that 9.13 is not very close to zero. So that's telling you that those numbers are not very close to the mean. So what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is just some kind of number that's trying to describe how close are those numbers overall to the mean. 